hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this uh, google doodle is celebrating winter 2021 southern hemisphere do you know about winter solstice let's talk about winter solstice winter 2021 what is the winter solstice a winter solstice is the moment in time when the earth tilt away from the sun is at its maximum and the sun's maximum elevation in the sky is at its lowest a winter solstice occurs twice a year once in december in the northern hemisphere also called the summer solstice and mid mid, mid winter and uh, once in june in the southern hemisphere also called june solstice in the northern hemisphere the day of the winter solstice is the shortest day of the year the day with the least daylight and the longest night and occurs even year between december 20 and december 23 the dates given on this uh, video which for practical purposes is equivalent to green which mean time and uh, time the united kingdom is on during the winter when it isn't on summer time while the winter solstice occur at the same moment in time all over all over the world the date and the local time differ from place to place depending on the year and uh, location time zone for location that are ahead of utc for the east it may fall on the day after and for location that are behind utc for the west it may fall on the day before to find out the exact date and time of the winter solstice 2021 in the area the winter solstice mark the end of autumn and the beginning of winter in the uh, hemisphere when where it occurs and uh, is one of four days two equinox and uh, two solstices throughout the year on which a new season starts the other days are the vernal equinox also called spring equinox beginning of the spring the summer solstice beginning of summer and the autumn equinox all called are called uh, fall equinox beginning of autumn So the June solstice marks the arrival of the first day of winter in the southern hemisphere. That's why the, in the earth uh, southern areas, let's say of Australian people, the June solstice is known as the winter solstice or hibernal solstice. In 2021, winter solstice in uh, Australia southern hemisphere will occur on Monday, June 21st at sharp 13:32 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Not to mention this astronomical event will also be the darkest as well as the shortest day of the year in the southern hemisphere on the other hand for the people living in the northern hemisphere the solstice marks the arrival of the first day of summer that's why in the earth's northern areas the june solstice is known as summer solstice or estival solstice again so it to mark the So again for the people living in the northern half of the earth this astronomical event will also be the brightest as well as the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere in other words the meaning of solstice changes depending on the fact that at which side of the hemisphere you live upon moving ahead in this uh, in this exclusive video we will talk about the fact that why june solstice winter solstice in the southern hemisphere and the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere or the questions like uh, june solstice is the first day of winter in the southern hemisphere is actually the official first day of winter or mid winter therefore no therefore in order to get uh, an answer to these questions i would suggest uh, uh, you uh, watch this video till the end what is solstice there are two ways to define the meaning of solstice there are meteorological and astronomical definitions of solstice right now i am going to explain it on the basic of astronomy but that doesn't mean i won't be explaining the meteorological definition of solstices we will talk about it in the later section so moving ahead according to the astronomical definitions of solstices this is a natural event during which one of the hemispheres uh, is the at uh, the maximum tilt away from or uh, towards the sun and when this happens the sun appears to stand still and reverses its directions in layman solstice is a day that occurs due to the sun's changing path in case if you don't know there are generally four seasons that occur on earth these are summer winter autumn and spring just like the winter and summer solstice is is uh, responsible for the arrival of winter and summer season on earth In a similar way the fall and spring equinox is responsible for the arrival of fall and spring seasons on earth. So in uh, each earth experiences two solstices summer and winter and two equinoxes. 
to next spring and fall that help us to understand the patterns related to the changing seasons so thanks to earth tilt we see solstices so as you already know that uh, uh, solstice is a natural event during which one of the hemispheres is at the maximum tilt away from or towards the sun moreover you also know that there are two types of solstices winter and summer there are june solstices and december solstices so how to define june solstice or december solstice let me rephrase uh, well the only difference between them uh, is that during the june solstice the north pole of the earth is at its maximum tilt toward the sun that's why the june solstice is also known as the northern solstice on the other hand during the december solstice the south pole is at its maximum tilt toward the sun that's why the december solstice is also known as the southern solstice moving ahead during the june solstice the north pole of the earth is at its maximum tilt toward the sun therefore half of the earth's surface northern hemisphere receives maximum sunlight refer to the image uh, given below a proper understanding has marking the brightest as well as the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere that's why the june solstice northern solstice is officially known as the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere so how long is the shortest day of the year in the southern hemisphere how long is the shortest day of the year in southern hemisphere simply depends on the fact how close you are residing uh, to the south pole in other words the closer you reside to the south of the antarctica uh, circle towards uh, the south pole the thinnest hours of daylight you will receive so it uh, marks the arrival of the fourth day of winter human didn't know how to calculate the change in the season in terms of astronomical calculation and why because they did not have the telescope to do such as a nasty observations so in this video you will learn uh, about winter solstice hope you like this video then do like comment share and subscribe press the bell icon too thanks for watching bye bye